got something. Nice, it's a ring, is a ring, is a ring. All right, back at Sunset Beach. And uh, maybe I'll be here for sunset and it'll really live up to its name. There are a lot of kite surfers out there right now. The wind is really windy. There's actually a pretty good combination swell, which means it's coming from the north and from the south, mostly from the north, which is kind of, wow, a guy just got a big giant chunk of air. He uh, probably went about 15 or 20 feet in the air. Pretty amazing, those kite boarders. At any rate, they do have some good waves to surf on right now. So when you watch these guys with these kites, I don't know how fast they're going, but it's probably 15, 20 miles an hour. And they can just surf on the waves no matter how fast they break. Really cool. So hoping last night we had a really high tide and had another one this morning. So. Kind of hoping we might have actually gotten a little bit of a cut. Well, there is a little cut down there. So we'll uh, kind of head that way. Well, I can see some scoop drag marks out here and I can see a hole right there that somebody dug and didn't fill in. So I'm not the first here for sure. I got my first target, 11 to 13. And it does sound like a mid-tone. Pretty shallow. Well, I think I got a nickel. First target and first coin is a nickel. I think that's what that is. Yeah, I can see. Uh, I can see the back of it. Yeah, I have a coin in there. I can barely hear, but I think it's going to be a quarter. It's so much black sand. I barely got a whisper of a of a uh, iron tone for that. I have walked a long way. I have a low tone here, a nine. Should already be out. Nope. It's in here. It does not sound very big. Hmm. Oh, I think I see a little, maybe a copper screw or something. Oh, that broke it. So it's not a screw, it's just some little piece of copper. Oh, it's part of a key. You can see exactly what it is now. Got a mid-tone. It's 9 to 13. So far, those have usually turned out to be nickels. This one sounds like a nickel. It's a 13, pretty much straight on now. Still pretty aggressive 13. Yep, another nickel. And the one thing I will say is whoever's out here, when they're missing nickels, it's uh, often a good sign. Now, believe it or not, in all this black sand, there's actually a zinc penny right there. <laughs> you can barely hear it. I have a high tone. 35 to 24, 24 to 35, kind of thinking dime or a penny.
mostly I can just hear black sand, maybe a zinc penny to be honest with you. Uh, no, actually maybe it is a dime. Or is it a, wait, is that a zinc penny? I think it is a zinc penny. Actually looked like a dime, but it's uh, just really badly discolored. Here's my first tent stake. Well, I moved beaches, and uh, where I was at was way down over there. And uh, I'm look and see if we can find anything down here. Uh, it's kind of funny, I don't know if you can see it, but somebody gridded this area massively. There's a few holes dug, not a lot of them. One there, one there, one there. A few more down that way. But I do think I might have a high tone, and I think it's coming in as a pretty high tone, or signal, uh, it actually might be a 10 stake, <laughs> it was a 29, the 10 stakes will do that too. Now it's kind of going into the negatives, negative four. Yeah, I'm kind of inclined to think we may have our first uh, 10 stake on this beach. I think it's going to be over here someplace. Okay, should be out. Maybe not a tent stake, maybe something smaller like a nail. Yeah, I think I see a nail right there. There you go. That was your 29. <laughs> I think I have a zinc penny here. It's a 20. I see it right there. Yep. Zinco Penio. You get spendable though. A weird signal. Oh, it's a staple. Well, this beach has been a bust so far, but look at that sunset. Really pretty. You guys a little scenic view. Got a mid tone I'm about five feet away from where are the grid marks from the uh, whoever was here before me. Now it sounds like all iron. screw. Well, there's a quarter in there. Well, I came to another beach. <laughs> there's holes everywhere, so somebody did pretty well here. Oh well. Alright, maybe mid-tone right here. That sounds horrible. But I'm thinking maybe Maybe a nickel. Yep, there's a nickel. I do like that people are missing nickels. Literally, there's two or three of those holes right next to this. All right, guys, down on the beach. I have not hunted on this end of this beach, and I, it's been years. Here with my friend Daniel. You guys probably all know him from his epic channel, Monterey Magnet Man. Um, He's, he already walked here yesterday. He did find a little something something. We'll let him tell you about that in his video. A little, little, little good stuff. Um, we do have some pretty intense wind today, so hopefully you guys can hear this and it doesn't sound like that. If it does, sorry guys. You probably won't see it then if it does. <laughs> and I have my first target. It's acting like a mid-tone, 11, 12. Um, I'm 
everybody. Now it's acting like iron. Huh. Wow. It just went all metal. Now I can hear it again. So I think it's going to be in here. Huh. Sounds awful. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be iron. Nine now. <laughs> Man, I really think this is a deep iron, like a ten stake or something. Oh, I think I may have just seen it actually. I think I may have just seen what it was. I think it was a little tent stake. There it is. I just saw it again. It does not want to come out of the wall. I think I may have it now. Or is it just a long piece of iron? Yep. Oh no. Small tent stake. Alright, I get to bury that giant hole. And a really quiet target down there. I think I just got it out. And I think it's a uh, bling butterfly. There you go. Bling butterfly. Well, I have a target here. Daniel and I both kind of think zinc penny maybe. all over the place now it's a negative eight which I like negative eights but ooh, now it's sounded very irony the irony of it yep now it's boy now it's kind of back to zinc penny is I don't like that it's not coming out on the straight on the straight though. Usually that means iron. You got it. You got it. I oh, got it. Oh, you see it? Yeah. Oh. You ready for this, you guys? It is a junk earring. Hey. The rust tells me. <laughs> hey. That is. I got the matching one yesterday. Yeah, that's junk. There you go, but it's an earring. I think Danny got a zinc penny. Lucky. Unspendable. Negative five here. Ugh, probably more iron. Oh yeah, I think I see a tent stick right there. Well, part of one. More iron. I think I have a diamond here. 24 to 26. I'd like it to be a silver ring, but I don't think it is. I think it's going to be a dime. Yep, dime. 
go. Little yellow dime. Yeah. This thing's bouncing around from a high tone to a negative six. Usually means something like a 10 steak. But should be out. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm starting to think zinc penny now. Yeah, now I got a 20. So I'm kind of thinking, thinking zinc penny. And I don't think it's going to be spendable, but it is a zinc penny. Pretty crusty. Yeah, you got something. Nice! It's a ring, is a ring, is a ring! Yeah. Sure it's a junker? Yeah. I think it's silver, no? It's copper on the bottom. Uh, oh yeah, you yeah. can see the copper coming through. Still, it's a ring, is a ring, is a ring. That's right. Number 114. 114. Nice job, dude. You can see it looks like a metal candy cane. Another one. Got a mid tone, 13, 14 right here. Kind of thinking it's still gonna be iron though. All right, now it's a negative six. Should be out. Seven eleven. Uh, something right there. Eh. A little split shot fishing weight or something along those lines. Tiny fishing weight. It's on a on a target. Disappearing target. Different target? Suspense is killing me. Oh. Micro nail head or something? It can sound so good sometimes too. Let's see how small this is. Oh my God, look at that. It's like a part of a, a fish hook maybe. Fish hook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, out of that hole. Good job, man. All right, I got a... Oh, it's all over the place. I think it's gonna be a zinc penny, 17, 18. Seventeen, pretty firm. Probably a jacked up zinc penny. Oh no, it's actually a blob. You're right. Blob, you're right. A blob, you're wrong. I haven't found one of these in a while. This is a rapid response, one strip fentanyl drug test. So hopefully, I don't ever have to use that. I think this actually it's all iron but I think it might be a foreign coin let's see if there's any way I can get it maybe opened up to see what's underneath all this rust it's, oh no I think it's actually a washer <laughs> it is it's a washer uh -uh. I have found steel foreign coins before though that's kind of a mid-tone here 10 
probably more small iron. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of small iron. Let's make it some really great sounds. actually a little silver part of a silver ring that's funny is that what that is yeah I'm pretty sure it's another butterfly huge silver yeah <laughs> giant it's funny though it's another butterfly oh wow I think it's just a beat down little tiny silver ring that's yeah, yeah demolished. You can, see, you can see it was a ring. It has the little like the bottom. Yeah. So oh, you can kind of see the roundness. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey. Silver silver. A ring is a ring. And I didn't bring I didn't bring my uh, it doesn't count as a ring, I can't count it. It's just too it's fractional. If it was three quarters maybe, but no. Yeah. That's kind of a cool uh, shell though. Check that out. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in my eye until Daniel gets something in my eye. Nope, oh, I dropped it. Okay. Dude, I think I got some bad sand in my eye. Oh really? Super swollen. Oh shit. Can you see anything? Oh, hey. <laughs> he needs to see a doctor immediately. <laughs> you got shell eye syndrome. Shell eye syndrome. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh oh, I'm about to drive to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Daniel found this priceless hoop earring just now. Gorgeous. 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 I got a high. Kind of mid-tone, I think it's a, it says 20, so I'm thinking zinc penny. That's what I'm thinking. Pretty sure. Not 100% sure, but pretty sure. Now it's an 18 to 27. I still think it's going to be a zinc penny. something there. Doesn't sound like a penny anymore though. Uh, big junk metal. I don't know what that once was. It's got an interesting, uh, looks like it was chromed at one point in time. Really kind of interesting. It's almost like a, that from that movie Alien or something. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely chromed at one point in time. And decent sized hole to fill in. There we go. Should be a zinc penny in here. Oh, there it is, right there. Boom. Zinco unspendable penio. I got a <laughs> between a negative seven and a thirty. Maybe another zinc penny, to be honest with you. Might actually be a dime. Penny, maybe? 
Yeah, it must be. Oh, you know what it is? Ah, that's kind of cool. It's a Canadian penny. What year is it? Actually, it's cool. 1978. Pretty neat. All right. Not unhappy with that. Queen Elizabeth in her youth. I think I have another coin in here. Is that a copper penny, maybe? I think so. Yeah, copper penny. Memorial. Copper penny. Got a high tone here. It's really high. Oh, now it's now it's a negative five. It was a forty. <laughs> so maybe a ten stake. Yeah, it sounded really like a nice high tone at first. Yeah, I think it's yeah, I think it's gonna be a ten stake or something. Probably really deep too. No. No, I think it's gonna be a quarter. You see it right there. Is that it? Yep. There you go. Yellow quarter. All I need is a nickel. Alright, back on another beach. Here's Daniel with me. Um, I think we're going to have to change his name to Daniel Malibu Magnet Man. I don't know. At any rate, um, went to this beach, I don't know, a week or so ago, and it was conditions were pretty good. Didn't get a lot of stuff, but hoping, hoping it's still got a decent transition to it. So, fingers crossed, guys. I see a hat over there. Let's see what it says. Hmm. Let's see what we got. It is Vera Plumbing and Drain. Oh, Vera Plumbing and Drain. Put that up high so maybe somebody who wants it can have it. go hopefully somebody can use it a low tone here seven and nine probably a piece of aluminum if I had to guess I think that used to be part of a buckle something long since gone and I've already seen what this is but my battery died so but there is one of these really weird, check them out, <laughs> fishing weights. And I'm not exactly sure why they have these protrusions on them. They almost look like a, oh my gosh, what was the Russian satellite? The Sputnik satellite. Pretty weird looking though. It's not small either. Sputnik. Spud Nick. Turns out Daniel's not a lifeguard because there's no lifeguard on duty. All right, here's cleanup number one. I got a ten stake, one quarter, one dime, one nickel, four uh, or two pennies. Excuse me. That means I got the cycle one time. Here's cleanup number two. I did get three ten stakes, some other parts of pieces of iron. I thought this was actually part of a belt buckle. I think it was just actually a staple that was so rusted uh, that it looked like a belt buckle or part of a belt buckle. I did get uh, this Spudnik style fishing weight, and I'm not entirely sure why they have these these things on them, but I see them eh, once in a great while. I've probably found about five or six over the years, including in Hawaii. I did get a fentanyl test uh, test kit, so there's that. Um, I did get one tiny split shot fishing weight. I got this uh, cool shell that I stuck in my eye and freaked Daniel out with. I got one quarter, one copper penny, two zinc pennies, and one dime. I did get this junk earring. 
I got this junk butterfly. And sticking with the butterfly theme, I did get this little piece of silver, and I mean little. It's what's left of a silver uh, butterfly ring, I believe. And I got this 19, I believe 79 Canadian penny. So there you go. If you're interested in the stuff I use at the beach, I do use gold pull tabs. Uh, stainless steel scoop. I also use the uh, titanium scoop by CKG. And I use Tony Eisenhower waterproof headphones. If you're interested in any of these things, just go to the description of this video and there are links to them. All right, a lot of people have been asking how to get Pirate Mike shirts. I used to try to ship them out directly. It was an absolute nightmare. Um, my printer hated that I was only ordering a few at a time. Um, super expensive. Didn't make a lot of sense. So if you guys are interested, just go in the description. There is a link directly to Spring. Um, and you can order all sorts of shirts and stickers and all sorts of good stuff. So again, if you did want Pirate Mike merchandise, that is how you do it. So again, just go in the description. If you have any questions on how to find it, I can also send that to you. If you just comment, can't find it, I will send that to you as well. Hey guys, Pirate Mike here. Just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I have no idea why I do this, but every time I find a half dollar at the beach, I stick it in my eye. Again, I sure hope you like my channel and thank you again for watching and for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. love it if you guys would subscribe you can just click on my head right here or you can watch either of these two videos